Hello, today I wanted to do a little short video about my favorite video games of all time. This one's gonna be a mention at least 10 video games. The first and the obvious one is Super Mario 3. It is the first video game I have ever played and I still play it every so often because it's just a fun type of game. I, will, I went more into details about it when I mentioned my favorite Nintendo games. So you can check that, check that out in the other video. My second favorite game, they're, they're not in like ranking order, they're just like 10. Like I couldn't say that the, like this one is better than that one and that one and that one. Okay, moving on. Uh, Nier. Nier is one of the best video games that Square Enix has ever done, but the thing about Nier and all of the other subsequent Niers is like they are this close to being the perfect game but there's usually one thing that ruins it. But at least in the thing that ruins it in Nier is like completely insignificant. Not unlike Nier Automata that was like the hacking mechanics. Oh god, that was just awful. Okay, third favorite, third favorite video game of all time that I love is Final Fantasy VII. Like before Final Fantasy VII, I didn't like, I wasn't into like the whole RPG thing, like the, the whole idea of turn-based fighting, it was like, uh, oh god, I just can't put up with it. And to be fair, the first time I played the five minutes of Final Fantasy VII, I was like super bored, but then I gave it more of a better chance and then it grew on me, like a Genova cell. The, my fourth favorite video game of all time is The Hollow Knight. I'm still sitting here waiting for Silk Sun. Waiting for the Silk Sun to come out. It's just a very good platform type of game. And the plot is, well, you know, it has a plot, but you know. I don't play it because of plot. I just play it because I like the visual aesthetics and the fights are fun. The next game worth mentioning is Dragon Quest Builder. You can do fine with either one or two, but I personally prefer the first part a little more than the second part, even though like the, it's just like the Dragon Quest Builder 2 is like such a bummer of a game. Well, so was the first part, I mean like lighten up dude. I just like that, you know, it's uh, most people compare it to like Final Fantasy Minecraft or Dragon Quest Myth with Minecraft, but you know, I have played Minecraft and after like whoever likes Minecraft, I'm sorry, but like I get super bored after like five minutes. Moving along, my next favorite video game is The Sims. You can pick anyone from like the whole series, I like the first scene, the third one, the fourth one, and those are about all the ones I play, so you know. Whichever one is awesome, but just the overall idea of the same, it, it is fun. You know, just like, it's just like playing with little dolls, but in the computer. That's it, you know. Just saves you a lot of space and storage, you know, that's basically the overall idea of The Sims. Well, at least that's how I feel when I play with the City Sims. My next favorite video game is Bloodborne. I have a lot of fun memories of Bloodborne, mainly dying over and over again because of Father That's Con, and then I, the first time I beat it, I just cheesed it. I got him in a fence and then I just used the whip over and over again and there and that to kill that werewolf. I have one Bloodborne about like uh, like seven times or something. And each time I try a different build. The builds in Bloodborne are mainly just based around the weapons. And Bloodborne is kind of like the reason why I ended up getting like ball joint dogs. I just thought, oh that looks fun. like. Uh, game with a ball joint and all that was cool and interesting so then I just like I thought that it would be fun if I had a ball joint and all while I was struggling with Bloodborne it just that's usually how a lot of stupid ideas happen you know you just get
get stuff on a whim. So yeah, of all the Souls games I have ever played, or like from software games, you know, I played Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, ugh, Sekiro, and Bloodborne. Yeah, Bloodborne is still the best game that they have ever done. Like Sekiro, I, never, I was never like a big fan of like precision gaming and like, I got to WoW and then I'd be like, I'm going to continue with my life. My next favorite video game is one from the PlayStation 2 era. It's Radiata Stories. A lot of people neither remember or were even aware that the game existed. I just like the anime ending. Like, it had a cool anime presentation and the battles were like, it was like RPG-ish, but like more active. Kind of like a little bit of a precursor to Kingdom Hearts. Just a little bit. But the interesting about it was the world that they created. It, it, it ran on a clock. So then you had to memorize all of the routines of all of the NPCs in order to be able to do all of the missions and like unlock secret endings and like secret dungeons later on in New Game Plus in the game. And then it had like a 50-50 type of ending that like you can either like stay with the humans or you can help the non-humans and depending on which way you go is the type of terrible ending you get. Both endings are simply awful. But that's your type, but that's what makes good video games this day, you know, like having terrible ending. I, I really didn't like the ending of Radio Story, but the final boss was at least fun. My other, my, my other favorite video game, like the nice one, of the list is Spyro, the first part. It was just like, kind of short, but very creative, and each of the little worlds was like, thematic. Like, my favorite world in Spyro 1 was like, Dream Maker. That one just looked beautiful, like something taken out of like a children's fairy tale book. It was just a very beautiful, very nice crafted type of video game. Like the second part was, um, yeah, well I kind of like the second part, it was funny. Like I still play the second part, but fast to shoot. And then by the third part, I'm like, uh, uh, they got a little crazy hiding the diamonds and then it was no longer fun. So yeah, Spyro first. The only good of all of this, the only good Spyro game there, like the only perfect Spyro game there ever was. And ever since then, like the quality, been and there you have it. Ah oh, yeah, the last favorite video game, Tropical Five. Just like a weird type of Age of Empire game. It said that you get to play as a tropical dictator and that sounds like very amusing and whatever. You get to try the whole strategy whether you want to like try the whole capitalist scenario and see how that goes. Or you can go on the opposite end and see how awful and miserable you can make your little people. It's just, you know, like playing, it's just one of those civilization type of game. It said that you're like a, tro a tropical evil, a tropical dictator, you know. It said we little islanders dream. <laughs> Whatever. A tropical five. A fun, weird little game. Well, I hope you find my, my list of 10 favorite video games I'm using. Bye bye and God bless. Bye-bye and God bless.